What is up guys? I've just checked out of my hostel here in Gili, Mbox Hostel. I highly, highly recommend it. I think it's probably the best hostel I've seen in during this whole trip in Southeast Asia. So obviously it's not the cheapest hostel, but it's really good. The meals are great. The breakfast that is included is awesome. And it's just a great atmosphere, it has a pool. You know, couldn't ask for much more here in Gili Tea. So absolutely recommendable. Now I'm just heading to the pier because I'm heading off to New Salem Bongan. And I only have one day there, so I have to make the most of it before I head off to Nusa Panita, the larger of the Nusa Islands, for one day as well. But coming up on my last few days here in Bali and Southeast Asia, so I'm just trying to enjoy and make the most of what I have left in the strip. I was wrong, we're actually making a stop in Parang Bai here in Bali before we go to New Southern Bangan. That's kind of funny. Tons of sellers over here, so I just bought some water and chips. Really thirsty. A little hungry, so take advantage. Just arrived in New Salem Bongan, and that bridge right here connects to New Senegan, which is in the middle. Uh, I'm only here for one day. It was raining a little bit as we were arriving, so hopefully it doesn't rain too much more uh, later. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to New Panita, so I have to book a ticket for that. It's a short ride, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one. All right, after we got off. The speed road and onto a mini ferry and drop us off in New Salambongan as you saw by the bridge and then they arranged rides for us and they dropped me off here close to the hostel so I'm about to check in right now. Well, I should say it's a home state not a hostel but it looks like it'll be good. Alright guys I'm finally going for it. Just rented a scooter from the hostel and I'm gonna try to catch some sightseeing spots here because I only have a few hours before it gets dark so hence the scooter and it's just the easiest way to get around here in the Nusa, uh, Nusa and the Mongan and in general the Nusa Islands. So, yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, I just rode up the hill to this panoramic viewpoint. Starting to get the hang of the bike. It's not too bad. Just going slowly just to get used to it. But check this out. That's beautiful. I'm really hungry. I'm tempted to eat something right now, but also I know that the amount of daylight is limited, so I might try to get to another viewpoint before I try to get dinner. Well, that's the first time I tried doing that with the GoPro, but it looked like it will be really cool. It's cool just to show like the road, it's like so bumpy and like puddly, there's like and muddy. I think I got my shoes a little dirty, I'm trying to step through this part with a lot of puddles. This is Dream Beach, check it out. There's another viewpoint uh, somewhere nearby and let's see if I can find it. Found it. I think this one's called Devil's Tears. Check it out. I'm not sure if all of this is Devil's Tears or is it or if it's just that point over there with all the people standing taking pictures. But it looks really nice. Especially now that the sun is beginning to set. Really cool. This is 
all really beautiful. Especially with that sunset setting in, it's just, check this out. Okay, now I'm gonna head out and try to find a place to eat before it gets too dark, just to at least get out of the muddy road section that I just passed through to get to here. And yeah, I'm gonna have to leave out Luz de Senegan this time around because I just got a little overzealous and I wanted to see a lot of things in a short amount of time with Bali. I assigned more time to Thailand with the five weeks and obviously I've learned that Bali is deceptively big. It's, there's a lot more to see than I originally thought. This is just kind of like a, a survey of some of the things there are to see, plus having heard of other things and knowing of other things that I didn't get to see, I know that I have to come back. As you can tell, I got so burnt on that boat ride over here from Gili. I was inside and it was so hot and the AC wasn't working, I was just like melting in there. So I decided to go up Plus it was much better views and with the wind it just felt so refreshing, but I obviously got burnt It is what it is. By the way, the motorbike I rented from the hostel Normally it would cost 70,000 rupiah, but since I rented it pretty late in the day They only charged me 50,000 rupiah and of course included the helmet and all that stuff. So yeah Found a random place to get dinner close to my hostel. I'm starving. I'm gonna try a new dish, so check it out in a second. Here we go, we got Bobby Kachak, which is like pork and veggies and some sauce, and we got some rice. And a mango lassi, of course. Alright, I'm back at the hostel. Now I'm just gonna take a shower and chill the rest of the night, so uh, that'll be it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I go to the news of Panita. See you tomorrow. <laughs>